Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve issues you might have when running the program compatibility launcher or assistant in Windows. So this utility will typically, if you're running a newer version of Windows and you have an application that was designed or will only run on an older version of Windows, this utility can often be used to help resolve any compatibility conflicts. So essentially you can run older programs on newer hardware. Now it doesn't always work all of the time and I don't think you can really expect it to, especially depending on what kind of programs you're trying to run and how complex they are. But generally it's a nice utility to have and if for some reason it's not working correctly or it's crashing or whatnot, in this brief tutorial I will be showing you guys a utility that's built into Windows that should scan for issues and will hopefully resolve your issue automatically. So we're going to just get started and jump right into it by heading over to the start menu and we're going to type in troubleshooting. should be listed right above control panel. So you want to left click on this button. Now that we're in the troubleshooting window, you want to left click on the view all button on the left side here. Near the middle of this list, there should be something that says Program Compatibility Troubleshooter. Double click on that. So in this new dialog window, we can see that the Program Compatibility Troubleshooter find and fix problems with running older programs on this version of Windows. Left click on Next to begin running the scan. And now I can give you some more information about what programs you're having issues with the compatibility launcher. So you can select not listed if it's a generic prom, but let's just say we're running an old version of say CCleaner that does not support Windows 10 for some reason, even though all these programs do support Windows 10. Let's just say we're having issues with CCleaner and then we'll select next. And now we have two different options that are up here. We can try recommended settings, which if selected will run the program using the recommended compatibility settings. Now there's another option that will choose the compatibility settings based on the problems you noticed. We're going to select try recommended settings. And we can see that it recommends us to try it as if we were running Windows 8. So you would just left click on test the program right there just to give it a test. Obviously, CCleaner works on both Windows 8 and Windows 10, or at least it's supported on both platforms, so it's probably not a great example, but just to give you guys an idea. And then once you're done at confirming your changes, let's say everything worked out well, you could click on Yes to save the settings for the program, or if you were not satisfied, you could click on No, try again using different settings. And lastly, you can report the problem to Microsoft and check online for a solution. Let's just say we selected no, try again using different settings. We could give a little bit more information and hopefully it could resolve our issue a little bit quicker. So let's just say that the program worked in earlier versions of Windows but won't install or run now. Click on next. And now you can select which version of Windows did the program work on before. It only goes back to Windows XP. I don't know why they don't include older legacy applications, but whatever. Uh, let's just say Windows XP. Click on Next. Now we're going to run it as if we were on Windows XP Service Pack 3. So now we can test the program again. This time we receive a user account control window, so select the yes here. And we see that it actually appears a little bit different too. You can notice the border is not the classic Windows 8 or Windows 10 style. So it's definitely interesting. And another cool thing about using CCleaner for this example is we can see up at the top where it tells us what operating system we're using. It just says Windows XP Service Pack 3. So that was something very interesting. So then if you click on Next, you can left click on Yes to save the settings for this program. And that should save the settings and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So definitely promising utility and I hope it does resolve any issues you might have with programs not working correctly. So I hope this tutorial worked for you guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.